61A, lecture number two. Announcements. First, lab one is due on Wednesday, 9-3, which is probably today if you're watching this video on time. Submitting labs and attending section is something that's tracked, but it doesn't directly earn you points in this class. So it's possible to get a perfect score in the class without submitting your labs. However, they may help you in the following way. If you get a particularly low score on a midterm, your participation will help you earn back points. So, it's a really good idea to go to lab and section just to learn the material. There's some extra incentive that recovering points on midterms will be tied to whether you turn in your labs and whether you attended section. So definitely turn in your labs. Homework one is worth points. It's worth two points. Homeworks are graded on effort, but effort means you tried really hard to solve the problems. So you should definitely try to work through all your homework problems. It's due next Wednesday. More information to come about how to get help with your homework. But the easiest way is to go to office hours. Office hours are a great place to ask questions about lab and homework assignments, discussion questions, or anything else you want to talk about. How do you find these office hours? Well, you can go to the course website, which means going to cs61a.org, and then clicking on the weekly schedule, at which point you'll see when all the labs and when all the discussions are, and when all the office hours are. Different people hold different office hours at different times, but most of them are between 11 and 5, and almost all of those are held in 411 soda. So if you click here, you can see exactly where it's held, 411 soda. Come to office hours if you're feeling stuck or if you have questions. You're allowed to switch sections. Now, the way you do that is you talk to the TA who's running the section that you want to switch into. And if they say there's enough room, you can join that section. Some sections have more open space than others. If you go to this link, you'll get a list of which sections have open space. This is a page that I got through by starting at schedule.berkeley.edu. It shows enrollment for the class overall, and then the wait lists per section. A section with a wait list of 20 people is not something that you can transfer into. But if you look down the list, you'll see that there are plenty of wait lists that are quite short. And there are even sections with available spots. So if you want to get enrolled from the wait list in the course in general, you should switch into a section that has availability. If you want to switch sections and you're already in the course, pick one and the wait list is small. Now why would you want to switch sections? I have no idea. Although I will give you one reason. Michelle Huang, one of your TAs, has volunteered to designate her sections for people with little prior programming experience. Now why have that? It turns out that at other universities, they found that people really enjoy starting out in programming with other people who are also starting out. So if this sounds like something that would work for you, you can think about transferring into one of Michelle's sections, which are numbers 15 and 18. And then you're more likely to be surrounded by people who are also just starting out. Now, we're not going to force anyone in there or force anyone out of there. So if you don't want to transfer, fine. If you enjoy being in your current section, excellent but I wanted to give the option to students who are interested in trying out a little bit different environment. The section will have the same content and move at the same pace. The only difference is the peers that you'll work with will have also chosen to be in that section. If we need more of these sections because they become popular, we'll designate them in future weeks. And the last thing I'll announce, I said before, but the videos are a mixture of things that I recorded back of fall of last year and this year. I'm re-recording the ones that I think could really be better, and I'm leaving alone the ones that I already like. So that's why you'll see me changing shirts, changing haircuts throughout the videos, is because some of them were recorded last year and some this year. But I have gone through and made sure that the ones I'm keeping from last year really are good, and I don't know how to make them better. Enjoy.